Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will learn how to create this fantastic team intro slide with the rotating carousel effect in PowerPoint. Let's see what are all the features we will use to get this output. Firstly, we will make some text boxes with the names and their designations. Next, we will create mask around text boxes which reveals the text boxes that we want to show. Then we will create the smoothie picture animation effect that allows us to appear and disappear the images that we inserted. So today we will learn so many things in this video and let's get started. Let's say we got some input like we need to make the animation for this content. Here important information like name and their designations are provided. So we need to make the intro animation slides with the provided information. I have provided the links to all the images in the description. You can download the images if you want to follow along. Let's copy the first text box and paste it here like this. Make some text formatting and alignment to get started. Now insert a blank slide, copy and paste the name text boxes from our input information slide. Let's go by hierarchy starting with the executive director. Change the font we need to adjust and the text sizes and etc. Now copy and paste the names based on the hierarchy umbrella of the team. Use the format painter to get the same formatting as we have done before for the Jameson Parker. Repeat the same for all the names. Select all the text boxes, go to shape format, align and select distribute vertically. Let's create a rectangular mask around the name text boxes like this. This mask is used to hide all the other text boxes except the first one. Now copy and paste all the designation text boxes on top of the rectangular mask but this time align it horizontally. Take your own time to align the text boxes. Select all the text boxes, go to shape format, align and select distribute horizontally. I am increasing the font size a little bit. and removing unwanted and repeated word from it. Then aligning it properly.
Copy the rectangular mask and paste it in front. Reduce its size so that it masks only the designation text boxes except the center one. Duplicate the mask again and place it on the left side like this. I am changing both mask colors so that they will differentiate from the other mask. Now select all the name text boxes and group them by hitting Ctrl plus G. Then select all the designation text boxes and group them again by hitting Ctrl plus G. Let's change the designation text box font color to blue. Now we are ready to insert the images. For that we can hide all the objects available on the slide. Go to home tab and hit the select option drop down. Then hit the selection pane. We can hide the slide objects by clicking on the eye icons available here. Hide all the objects like this. Now go to insert tab, select pictures and select insert picture from this device. Select the image that you want to insert to insert it. Resize the image height to 9cm. Go to crop option and select crop to shape then select the rounded rectangle shape and align it like this. Insert a circle from insert tab, shape option. Place it like this and send it back. Group the circle and the image by hitting Ctrl plus G. Hit Ctrl plus D to duplicate them once and place them above like this. Now rotate them anti-clockwise like this. Select the picture, go to the picture format tab and click on the change picture option. Hit from a file in the drop down and insert the second image like this. Again copy and paste the image group. Rotate them. Then insert the picture that you want. Repeat this for all your images. Select the first and front image group and hit Ctrl plus Shift plus G to ungroup them. Delete the circle shape. Repeat this for all the image groups. Select the image group, ungroup them and delete the circle shape. Now we have all the images only in the slide. Select all the images and press Ctrl plus G to group them. Now select the image, go to format picture. Reduce the transparency of the image to 100%. Repeat this for all the other images except the center one.
We have completed the image part. Now unhide all the objects that we have hide earlier in the selection pane. Select all the rectangle mask, right click on it, select format object, hit on the slight background fill from the fill option. I missed adding a rectangle mask at the top like this, so I'm adding it now. And making the fill as a slide background. We are ready with the main slide. Let's create the other slides. Select the second slide and hit Ctrl plus D to duplicate the slide. Rotate the image group clockwise like this. Change the transparency of the image to 100% and this image to 0%. Move the name text box vertically to the top so that it will show the required name. Move the designation text boxes horizontally to the right side of the slide. Now it will show the record designation of that person. Now select the third slide and hit Ctrl plus D to duplicate the slide. Repeat the steps I already explained. Rotate the image group. Reduce transparency. Move the name text box vertically. and move the designation text boxes horizontally. Repeat until the last image. I'm just tweaking the formatting of the first slide. Let's see what we have done so far in the slideshow mode. Let's apply some transition between the slides. Select all the slides, go to transition tab and apply more transition. Then change its duration to 0.75. In the first slide, we don't need any transition, so I remove it and replace it with none. Apply the push transition in the second slide. I just applying some background effects in the form of text like this. Copy and paste the background effect to all the slides. Finally, we come to an end. Let's see what our output file look like. Amazing, isn't it? 
i hope you enjoyed this video thank you all for watching this video do more support by hitting the like button share with your friends and subscribe to my channel i'll see you on the next amazing video until then stay tuned bye signing off the slide master